What's up, everybody? It's Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Astroneer. When we left off in the last episode, we managed to finally get a truck. Oh, we got this glitch going on again. It's weird. Thank you. Um, so we managed to get a truck and we put the storage, the actual truck storage, on the back there. So let's see, what else can we build? That's upside down. That's interesting. Oh, it's because the crane's upside down because the, the vehicle's connected to it. That's funny. All right. So we could make more storage units, which might not be a bad idea. What else can we make? I probably should make... I've had a couple of people commenting on making a... A solar panel, like a big one, though, one of these guys. And we have compounds now, so we probably should do that, actually. And we're going to replace our uh, wind thingy. I don't know how to destroy objects. I don't think you have... I don't think there's, like, a delete button at the moment. Or a way to get rid of them. So there's that. But we're going to put you right there, I think. Uh, I think it's supposed to open up. Oh, it's probably because it's nighttime? No? I can't tell if it's- ah, uh, yeah, it's night. Okay, it's getting to be nighttime. I was gonna say, I was like, um, doesn't seem to be doing what it's supposed to be doing. So, should probably make- let's see, I've got a bunch of resin. I have titanium- what is titanium used for? Aluminum, wind turbine, lithium battery, generator is copper. Okay, one seat. Winch is titanium. Okay, solar panel and back to storage. Uh, that's a one seat compound, storage compound. Crane is copper. Three seat is copper. So that's all... Well, so just a winch, apparently. Wait a minute. I've, I'm attached to this. Let's see if I retract that. Because where's, like, the truck recipe and stuff like that? I'm supposed to... Maybe it's... Yeah, that's what it is. It's because this was connected. Okay, so the rover is compounds, the truck is aluminum, the shuttle is compounds. Seriously, what do I need titanium for? Like, I just don't have a need for this stuff. Um, Alright, you know what we're going to do? Let's see here. We're going to snap that over there. Now, let's see if we plug this in. Can I do it while I'm... I don't think I can do it while I'm driving the, the truck. So, let's do it. There we go. Alright, so we got one seat. Three seat won't work. Oh, is that all it'll let me do? Mm. Alright, let's try this then. Just for the moment. Just for experimenting. Oh, can I not take this off? Oh! Interesting! I wonder if it's because... Is it because I'm connected to this? Let's find out. Let's move you. Nope. Out the way. I'm kind of curious if I can take this off the truck now. I don't think I can. Oh, so anything that looks... It looks like anything that gets welded to the ship. Or to the jeep, truck, whatever. Looks like that's kind of somewhat permanent. We have copper. Now, I did see something really cool in a Generic Bees video. Which was that you can make a second truck and actually connect them and make a little train set up. But I don't know if I have enough aluminum for that. Because this is all copper... One, two... Well, that's a partial aluminum. I keep forgetting about that. That's all copper. That's aluminum. So I have one, two good stacks that I know of. The other one, I think, is a little weird. 
And this is copper. Alright, so I don't have enough aluminum to make that. Interesting. I do, however, have enough lithium. I can make a battery. And kind of just store it any old place because, you know, I got way too much lithium than I know what to do with. And I wonder if I could put this on the jeep. I mean, I haven't really seemed to need... I haven't really needed the extra power or anything. Yeah, you can. Cool. That's really, really cool. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, we got an aluminum there, too. So I have one... So I have three. I think. I think I have three sets of aluminum. I do wish there was a way to kind of, like, turn this off. Um... And we do have a shuttle. That's kind of interesting, too. So, actually, let's work on maybe expanding a bit. Um, tell you what, let's actually try and get up this hill. How's that? Let's do that. We're going to throw this down. We're going to move this guy. We're going to stand up here. Uh, how about, like, here. And we're going to put a resin. Come on. There. Nope. Still going down. I have no idea what that's about. Um, it's kind of annoying. Shape terrain. They did do a, a couple of updates, though. Or one. I guess they were having some problems with the game's performance because of tethers. And I think that actually made it into the live at this point. I don't think that's, um... I don't think that's... You know what? Let's, um... Let's raise this. Let's see what happens when I raise it. I wonder if this will work. I don't think this will. I have no idea why, but my base just does not like going upwards. Ah! <laughs> I have done it. We have reached the surface. <laughs> okay. Um, we're actually going to take this guy over here. Yeah, see, I got so much lithium. It's just not even funny. I mean, I'm sure at some point I'll be really grateful because I'll have a ton of batteries and power and whatnot, but right at the moment, I'm just like, what am I going to do with all this lithium? Make batteries. It's all it's good for. Um, we are going to detach that because I don't actually want that on there. And then we're going to bring this guy around. I could make a shuttle. What was it that the shuttle needed? I think it was... Um, compounds? Oh, I can't do it in the, in the jeep. Yeah, it needs four compounds. That might be my new goal at the moment. I know people... I know there is a spaceship. Like I said, I've been watching Generic Me's video just because I like him as a YouTuber and stuff. And, um... He's so giddy about this game. It reminded me a little bit of me. Inside, anyway. Um, but, so we're going to probably put this right here. Would be a good spot, I think. Now, actually, I could probably put the wind thing up here if I wanted to. Because I don't think I actually want to build at this point. Yeah, there it goes. See, we were up on a cave thing. It wasn't doing anything up there. Um, I'm pretty sure I eyeballed... Yep, there's more resin. Uh, let's snap these into my inventory. I do love this game. This game is so fun. Now, stay up here, dagnabbit! I swear, if it wants to go down, stop it! Alright, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna level right from here. I don't even care if it's a little higher. It can deal with it. You're not going down into the ground. You're not going to do it. I refuse to accept it. Uh, it looks like it's a little down. Yep. Why? Why do you... Why? Why do you do that? Why do you have to do that to me? 
I wonder if there's a way to retract this. I don't think there is. I don't think they've designed a way to, like, destroy base components yet. Just, why, game? Why do you have to be down in the mud? You know what? I'm just gonna raise this up. You raise me up. Um, am I gonna have enough? One and then two. Yeah, we should be okay. Let's do it this way. Okay, that might be a little extreme. Maybe that's all it is. Let's experiment with this a bit. I'm kind of thinking as long as the tube is up, it'll go that way. Like, it'll see it as upper. Oops! Well, it's a done deal now. Seriously, though, I don't know why it constantly just wants to go up. Or, I mean, go down. It always wants to sink down into the ground. I'm like, why do you do this? Oh! I just realized! You can just click on the stuff. And it just puts things in there. That is so cool. Alright, let's test this out. I don't know if that's a new feature or not. I don't think it is. So, copper. Shift, left click, snaps it to my inventory, right? I have two. I have two. So I'm just going to click on this. You see how the little white ring turned into something? Click. And then it just drops them both in there. <gasps> what? All right, we have a research table, we have a smelter, we have a vehicle bay. We don't have a trade platform. Ooh. But fuel can... I don't even know... I guess that would be important if I get to a shuttle? Maybe? All right, let's try a trade platform. Let's see what that does. Where's those two aluminums? We got one there and one there. That should be good. And then, what did the other one take? The, uh, I don't think I have the resin, though. I have, the, nope, that's all lithium, that's all lithium, that's aluminum, that's titanium, lithium, uh, copper. I don't have any resin, though. So we might have to make a, a jeep run, I'm thinking. I'm kind of thinking that this is going to turn into, we have enough power and stuff going on that it's probably going to turn into, uh, like a, that's so cool. Pretty much like, um, ooh, hey, maybe I can sell lithium. Compound, resin, organic, laterite is aluminum, malachite's copper, or you could get aluminum and copper. Hydrazine's fuel, lithium we don't need, coal... We could use for generators, but we don't really have any. Um, okay, let's do a resin, I think. Nah, compounds and resins are just supposed to be so common. Let's do... What did I need aluminum for? I needed four aluminum for something. Was it the spaceship? Maybe it was the spaceship. Let's try... Titanium for aluminum. How's that? Because I don't really need all of this. Oh, and maybe organics. Because I don't need that really either. Uh, no. Let's do... Well, see, titanium I really haven't found a use for. I don't want to get rid of all of it. Nope. Put that down. Tell you what. Let's put one titanium there. So we'll keep four. That should be enough to build something if we need to. Oh, there's another one right there. Um, and let's grab one lithium. That leaves us four, in case we end up with a blueprint for like a giant battery or something. Yeah, and the wind still seems to be going, so that's pretty cool. I wonder how much it's generating. It just needed to be above ground. So if I click on this... Oh, that's so awesome. You don't even have to, like, get in your inventory or anything. Uh, do I have anything else? Oh, I have one compound. I don't want to get rid of that. So, four titanium, one organic, one lithium. That gives us four aluminum. Let's do that. 
What? Yeah, that looks just as cool in in game as it as I thought it would. That is so awesome. All right, now while that's going, I don't know how long that takes. We have the weirdest base design here of all time ever. Um, let's clear. Oh, I also have titanium on the back of this too. Let's get this stuff off of here. Okay, I can't just click that. It has to be... Oh, it's already back. Good for you. Um, we're just gonna... Uh, actually, no. Let's grab this stuff and we're gonna put it on the storage over here. Okay, oh. Uh, stack titanium there. Organic can go there. And copper can go with the copper. Sweet. And we should have gotten four aluminum... Which is Q. Oh, it brought the organic and the lithium back. That's interesting. They didn't want that. It got rejected. Uh, can I trade those for anything? Ooh. Two compound. Two resin. What did I need resin for? I needed resin to expand this. But I need three. Okay. Now, let's see here. Where? Oh, wait. No, it was over here. Why do I have a giant hole going on over here? What's going on? That's weird. I don't like that. Oh, whatever. Um, there it is. Organic. Um, I wonder if I can trade... Th oh, I can't pick that up because it's partially done. Crap, I want to get rid of that. So bad. Um, and then let's grab... Oh, that is another aluminum. Let's grab a lithium. Oh, no! Let's do a titanium. Duh. I just talked about how I have an extra one. Titanium... I'm doing, uh, you know, definitely trying to refrain from bursting out into song. Okay. So, let's do titanium. Oh, wow. Titanium is really valuable for that kind of stuff. Six resin. So, trade platforms are freaking awesome, basically, is the bottom line to this. What was it that needed aluminum, though? I, I distinctly remember I needed aluminum, but I really feel like I needed compounds for the ship, so that's not it. I'm really not sure what I needed. Uh, let's see, what is this over here? Is that copper? How did that end up over there? I don't remember putting that there. Get back where you're supposed to be. I don't think I was planning on selling the copper. Sweet! Now I wonder... <laughs> you could send the resin back for more resin. That's weird. Okay, so nothing really valuable enough. Give me this. Stop it. Oh, backpack full. Alright, so we're gonna go out this... way... I think. Now, let's try this out. Let's test my theory. So this has an upward thing. This has an upward. But I don't like how it's been doing, so we're gonna raise it a little bit. Oh, that's... Oh! Messed it up again. Alright, that worked. That kind of worked. Alright. Oh no, I'm stuck. Wah! Well, that was weird. Don't try this at home. We're professionals. Fuel condenser, copper, research we have, smelter we have, vehicle bay. Okay, so it's just the fuel condenser. That's why I had the copper. That's what that was for. Man, this wind thing is going to town. Alright, so fuel condenser. What does this do? I imagine it's when I have to get the hydrazine or whatever. Um, you know, the fuel crystals and then it's going to take power and it's going to... Wait, what? 
Huh? What is it doing? Oh, okay, that is hydrazine. I thought I was going to have to feed it in there and then it was going to smelt it down into... No? How does this work? Um, okay. So you can just make fuel out of power. I mean, that's cool. <laughs> Great! Alright, our wind tunnel thing is... Or our wind turbine is dying down. I'm trying to find wherever it's pulling power from, because I know it's got to be drawn from something. One of these batteries or something. Ah, there it is. Okay, so it doesn't pull... It doesn't pull un from... It pulls all of this. And then when that's recharging is when it's going to draw power. That's fine. Now, this is starting to make sense. Because I had a, a comment or something. Or I either read it in an article or a comment or something. I forget where. But somebody had mentioned basically a fuel condenser and a trade platform with like solar panels to give you power made it like really over the top crazy and I'm starting to think I'm realizing why because let's snap some of this stuff and get rid of this because what I'm thinking is uh oh is that a storm or is that just particle effects that's weird um, what I'm starting to think is that basically because you can just make fuel out of power, if you can then sell the hydrazine capsules, you basically have an infinite resource that you could exploit. It's kind of what I'm thinking they were talking about. So for example, will it let me do this? Yes, it will. Okay. I don't think we're going to have a resource problem anymore. Eight compound for four hydrazine. What? Eight resin, eight organic, four laterite, two aluminum, two copper, two lithium, one coal, one titanium. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. That's pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. Um, so we could make... Wow, we can do a lot with that. Who needs to mine? Psh! <laughs> Mining. Get out of here. Seriously, though, what did I need the four aluminum for? This is going to drive me nuts. I really don't remember. Oh, I didn't take it off the... Unplug it. Was it one of these vehicles? That's compounds. Oh, it was another truck. That's what it was. So if I click that, click that. Okay, that's what it was. It was another truck. Because I said I wanted to make another a train truck. TM. All right, and there's our four com or our eight compounds. Holy crap! Compoundless no more. I feel like there's a compound effect. <laughs> Get it? That's pretty awesome though. My backpack is full of compounds. It is a good day. Okay. And... Where's the power co Oh, probably from building the car at night. I didn't even think about that. So the windmill, or the wind turbine, that one turbine is actually doing pretty good for it to be late at night. Well, and not be storming. I wonder what it'll do when you get a storm roll through. That'll probably be crazy. Okay. Now, I don't want it to be that way. Let's see if I can figure out how to back up in this thing. Nope. 
the controls are so weird that it basically is like relative to where your camera is pointing. It's very strange. Like, W goes backwards if you're looking backwards. It's very weird. Oh my gosh, I cannot get... Go this way. No, go this way. It just does not want to back up. Alright, right there. Get out. Before it decides to change its mind. Okay. Now we're going to link these two, if I can do that. Yep. Yep. Now, this is still linked to the base, I think. Okay, so from here, we could do a three-seater, which would be pretty pointless. We could do a crane, which I still don't really know what that does, but it might be fun. We could do more storage. Or we could do a seat. I'm kind of thinking crane and then storage, and then this one I might do a bunch of these storage containers on the back, and this one I'll keep for, like, research type thing, is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, and then I might replace this with a solar panel, might be a good idea. But, first of all, let's actually get this out of here. There we go. Because I want to build a shuttle. Because I can have aluminum now. So basically, because I can. I have no idea. I know there's a spaceship, but I don't have the blueprint for it, so I don't know if I want to mess with it or not. And I've got a ton of compounds now, so who cares? Boom. Shuttle. What? I haven't even checked, like, other things I could build. So I could build a tank with titanium. Power cells, filters, generator, beacon, wind vane with aluminum, solar, battery with lithium. I don't know what some of the difference is, like power cell versus battery. It's like, what's the diff? Or, uh, what was the other one? Filters versus a tank. I guess they're more advanced versions. Like, this is a tank and that's a filter kind of thing. Okay, so the, the thing is built, so we'll take fuel cells and put it there and it'll fill it up I guess and then we have a one seat a crane would take up the whole thing which would be kind of useless storage one seat so this is a smaller ship than the spaceship one so I'm guessing a it probably can't go as far B we would be only be able to put like this and then one storage thing like one of these guys actually I could go ahead and grab that and do that think. Will it snap to the back there? It's not doing it. That's weird. Maybe it will once the other block is there. Uh, well, since I have compounds, let's go for it. Why not? That, um, uh, power thing for the hydrogen, or not hydrogen, the hydrazine, is pretty awesome though. Ah, there it goes. So I can do that. And it has two slots for hydrazine caps. So let's grab a couple of those. That is still really crazy though. That's awesome. I could probably do, you know what? Instead of another battery or something, let's try another, oh, I have a battery. When did I build you? I totally forgot about that. I legitimately forgot that was there. Now, I'm assuming if I were to remove these, you could just shift click and it would like snap it down to the, well, no, it would probably just put in my inventory. Scratch that, never mind. All right, so that's two. I kind of need a little bot to just go around and make fuel. Okay, there's one. That's probably why they did this in this game, is because that took quite a bit, or that really didn't do a lot, so it'll take quite a few of those capsules to make, and they probably didn't want to kind of restrict you to running around and having to 
find all the hydrazine that you'd ever need to make a trip. So they probably just converted it from energy. But with the trade platform, that's awesome. And I don't really care. I mean, a lot of people are like, oh, that's broken and all that. I don't really care because essentially you have to have enough resources and everything to get all of these machines. And then you have to have enough of an infrastructure going to get that much power and all that. Kind of so by the time you can get there, I'm okay with that, really. I mean, I don't think that's a big deal. Everybody always gets all up in arms about like balancing and things, but in reality... If it's late game, it's supposed to be fun and not really super duper grindy, so I don't really care. I mean, not that we're late game, obviously. We're like five episodes in, but you know what I mean. We have an established base and things. It's not like we're, you know, just starting off. But between that solar panel and the wind thing, well, I have two other solar panels somewhere. Um, during the day, this is, this is fun. Um, tell you what, let me put these guys down here because I can do as many as eight I think I'm gonna see what happens if I can get that far so that's one two four now a couple of these probably should go to the shuttle but I'm not a hundred percent sure that we're really gonna do a whole lot with that because as soon as I get a, a spaceship that's gonna be better than the shuttle uh, we might hold off on another one, though. Because we're starting to pull from the bat. I don't care. We got plenty of batteries. I only need two more after this. And we're only down one battery, so I'm not really worried about it. Batteries are... We got, like, four of them now. Though we're not generating any power at this point. Because the wind, the wind died down and it's dark, so. But four batteries, we should be fine for two more cells. Or one more cell, actually. And then I'll, we'll actually get to see what the max of each... We don't have to necessarily send it off, but it'll tell me kind of what the maximum is. But this is awesome! This is so cool! Okay, just for kicks and giggles. Oh no, that's weird. The compound and stuff actually went down. Ooh, interesting. So if we do full eight, we get more laterite, malachite, aluminum, copper, lithium, coal, and titanium. But for compounds and resins, we actually get less. That's really interesting. But we could do four copper and aluminum at once. And technically, with power-wise, we could do these. And then just go down and smelt them into more. That's actually probably the more beneficial way of doing it. So for compounds... Now we have two, now we have four, now we have six, eight, and then back to six. So for compounds, resin, and organics, it's best to do four. And for everything else, it looks like it's best to do um, it looks like it's best to do eight for the rest of them. So that's interesting. That's an interesting little balancing thing. All right. Well, we're going to wrap things up here in this storm and all that. I kind of wanted to see how crazy our wind turbine went. It's going pretty nuts, but it's cool. Um, so we're going to wrap things up here for this episode. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.